But a matter that troubles you so I can consult the cards. I wish to know if our grandmama has found peace in the afterlife. Let's see, I'll shuffle the deck now and pick a card. Our grandmother was neither virtuous nor kind, thus her fate is not kind either. She is now in a place of darkness, far away from peace. That is such a cruel thing to say. I would have been better off not knowing. I do not wish to upset you. I only speak what the cards show me. I know that, but it is hard for me to accept the meaning of this reading. Either way, you made good progress. Though be careful what you say to your customers, they might not be as understanding as I am. Thank you for your help, brother. It was good practice. I'll leave you to it then. Good luck tomorrow. What a tiring day. I should get some sleep. Uff, what could be so urgent so early in the morning? Who are you? Oh, fortune teller. You must help me with a most pressing matter. I am a poet, and I can no longer sleep until I find my muse. Lovely fortune teller. No doubt you can inspire many poems. But I have already found my muse. Or muses. You see, my sleep has been tormented with the image of two wonderful people. And I am now certain that I must dedicate a poem to one of them. My first muse is a graceful stork, the reverend's daughter. She is undoubtedly the very image of virtue. The second muse is a charming toad. I saw him during a walk under the moonlight, and I was enraptured by his beauty. You must help me choose between them. Very well, step right into my study. One of these cards represents the one you should choose as your muse. This card surely represents the toad you saw the other night. Though you must be aware that things might look different in the moonlight from how they look during the day. Nonetheless, the cards have shown that you must be your muse. Your words hold intrigue, but the ways of the universe are never candid. Now I must go and gather inspiration. That will cost you four nutshells, thank you. Let me walk you out. <laughs> 